Hello everyone, this is Luke, Madison, and Rachel, and we're going to help you guys understand what effective circumplex is. So, effective circumplex, as per the scientific community, is as follows. The circumplex model of effect proposes that all effective states arise from cognitive interpretations of core neural sensations that are the product of two independent neurophysiological systems. Before I go on, don't forget to write the model down. Now, let's break this broad definition of effective circumplex up. First of all, the term affective states refers to the psychophysiological constructs of arousal and valence as you previously learned. The second concept that is important here is the idea of cognitive interpretations. Cognitive interpretations simply have to do with the ways the brain processes stimulus in the world with relation to memory, judgment, perception, and reasoning. The term core neural sensations merely have to do with the stimulus that travels through neural pathways to inform the brain of what is going on. That's still plenty of big sciencey words, but what exactly does that all mean? To begin, effective circumplex is quite simply an actual model of the way we process emotions. By using the model, we can identify where emotions stem from in a fairly straightforward way, which Rachel here will take us through by using the model itself. Go. Yeah. Okay. Let's say, for example, that you were given a puppy as a surprise. Now this is going to fall somewhere on the activated yet pleasurable side of the spectrum, probably under excited. Now because in this situation you were surprised, you're going to be more activated instead of deactivated. And because it was pleasurable, it was a gift instead of a threat, it's going to be on the pleasure side of the spectrum. Also, the farther that an emotion is from the origin point, the more intense this emotion is going to be. For another example, let's say that you've been sitting at home all day with nothing to do and no entertainment. This is going to be um, deactivated because you have no stimulus and you have nothing to entertain yourself with. This is also going to be under the displeasure part of the spectrum because there's been nothing to entertain you and you've just been bored all day. That's going to fall right here, as I just said, under bored. And because it's closer to the origin point here, it's going to be a less intense kind of a sensation. Um, but because it is deactivated and displeasure, it's going to fall under this quadrant of the spectrum. Now that Rachel has finished up talking about the example, we're going to talk about the source. The primary source that has researched and discovered information about the circumplex is entitled The Circumplex Model of Effect, an Integrative Approach to Effective Neuroscience, Cognitive Development, and Psychopathology by Jonathan Posner, James A. Russell, and Bradley S. Peterson. The methodology that led them to new insight about the effect of circumplex was mainly animal studies. They state that the conceptualization of emotions as discrete and independent has arisen largely from effective research within animals. By selectively stimulating neural pathways and observing subsequent behaviors, or conversely, by eliciting behaviors in highly constrained experimental circumstances and measuring neural activity, animal researchers have constructed taxonomies of the basic emotions and proposed specific neural pathways associated with each putative basic emotion. These researchers have also gained an understanding of the circumplex by examining the facial features of people as they experience certain emotions. By looking at how facial features change as emotions are felt, they concluded that information about the subject's effective state is learned, but the expression does not necessarily portray the entire emotional taxonomy of the subject. The last method the researchers used to synthesize emotional information into the effective circumplex was developmental studies. They examined growth in infants to test for their emotional reaction to stimuli. They, de they did a lot of these tests alongside animals to cross-reference the results. And that is the effective circumplex. We hope you guys learned as much as we did. And maybe you guys will decide to review some of the emotions you experienced through the model we certainly encourage you guys to do so. Bye. Bye.